What's up, fellow Actitos? So um, today I was going to be uh, making a quick little video on installing a radio in your Honda Acti van truck, uh, same process. But I know there are a lot of videos out there that are showing how to change your radio in your Acti, but I wanted to um, show you, and that's another thing, sandbar guys, if you're watching before you click out, um, this is a good radio for your sandbar as well. If you wanna keep that um, old school original look to your radio, but be super functional at the same time. So um, again, I know there's videos of installs, but I wanted to show this because this is this radio is pretty cool and old school looking and would be perfect to keep that um, old school vibe with your um, pristine Acti. <clears throat> or if it's not pristine, uh, keep the radio looking <laughs> factory. So <clears throat> I got this guy. So this is a deck made by Continental. Very uh, retro, old school looking. Looks like something you'd find in a stock, a stock car with um, no goodies, but it has USB and it's Bluetooth, which is awesome. So if you watch my video on the speaker install, I said I wanted to keep something from, keep something just looking, you know, old school or factory or whatever, or something from the era this was made. But <clears throat> I soon remembered we did not have the luxuries of the radios we do now with Bluetooth and USB, um, just mostly CD or auxiliary plugs for MP3 players. And I, I mean, I got CDs, I got some Chevelle Taking Back Sunday, uh, All American Rejects, uh, some Fat Boy Slam. Maybe you'll figure out what time era I was driving from those CDs. But anyways, I'm, I don't wanna be changing CDs all the time. So this, this deck, keeping that old school look is gonna be perfect. Um, it is like a European deck. So if you're familiar with European cars, it usually has an orange and black face dial so it does kind of look like the mini my mini has an orange and black face radio so the face is going to glow orange but that's totally fine that looks looks old school and uh they do have a blue version and they do have a version with a cd um they are a little bit pricier so i didn't want to get too crazy um so i just stuck with the orange and black face with uh an mp um, bluetooth and USB and that should be perfect so again good for a sandbar good for an Acti good for any K car that wants to keep that uh, old school factory look and plus five plus five plus side no CD so it's half the deck um, thickness or length so you got plenty of room to jam those wires in the back because I don't know about you I always have issues getting these things in with all the wiring and just not fitting and it's you're jamming stuff in there and uh, just that was always a struggle putting in aftermarket decks so again half the length very easy to get in there if you do go with this deck I'll put a link in my description oh my arm's getting tired <sighs> if you do go with this deck um, you will need to buy the wiring harness for the deck itself which is on <clears throat> which should be like one of those things on Amazon where you can buy like the combo where it says down below like buy this with this so it should show up um, it's like a two a two plug um, harness for the radio because I think these usually just plug right into the European cars probably will plug into my mini if I tried it but um, make sure you get that wiring harness because I did not the first time so I had to wait a few more days to get the <laughs> the wiring and then once you get that squared away, you're going to need the wiring harness for the van or the Acti yourself, which you could just cut and splice into the factory wiring, which I did on my sandbars. But again, this van, let's see, we've actually got 5,300 5, kilometers on it. So I don't really want to cut the wiring on this. I want to try to keep it keep it uh clean and normal so i got the wiring harness 
and I'll have these in my store. So if you have this uh, fat, fat um, plug style on your Acti, um, I'll I'll, pro I'll have these in my store for like 20 bucks probably. So um, yeah, that'll be nice. Just make sure that you have that style because I think some Actis are a little bit different. Um, but this van has the wide and fat <clears throat> single plug instead of the two plug like some of them. So anyways, let's uh let's get this thing plugged in. I'll I'll show you like I obviously you saw I have the old factory radio pulled out of here which was like a half din uh AM radio which was worthless. Um but I'll show you how I pulled it out and then that was super easy. It's like two screws. I think it's a little more difficult for guys with the AC cuz you have the the like ducting that goes through here that like plastic shroud hiding stuff probably um but there's two two little phillip head screws in the bottom down here there's a hole right behind your ashtray here i'll just let's just show you so if you're gonna pull your old radio out <clears throat> i'm you can pull your uh, ashtray out and i'm doing this for visual purposes so there's two holes right there, right there in the bottom. And then up above those two holes are those two little holes for you. Let's see if I can show this. Okay, so two holes. That is where you're gonna get your screwdriver in and then you're gonna reach up and you're gonna take out those Phillip heads right above my finger, that hole. There's a threaded hole right there in the center and a threaded hole in the center there. That's where you're gonna remove the Phillip head screws. And then essentially, the uh, stock deck should just, at that point, pull out. And then you're gonna want to unplug, obviously, the wiring harness, which it doesn't have much reach, so you gotta be careful pulling the deck out. And then you're gonna unplug your, uh, your radio antenna. So make sure you unplug that guy. I do have that speaker in. I ran the wiring up under here. The wiring is uh, probably just hanging out right there. Yep. So I'm going to run that up and then plug that into that wiring harness since we don't have a right speaker um, connection on the factoring, factoring factory wire harness. So now I'm going to get my wire crimpers and we're going to start wiring that thing up so you guys can see when it turns on. You can see what it looks like and uh, get a feel for that old school retro look we're going for. Factory look, I should say. All the little patitos are down here today. And you guys should see how big they've gotten since we bought them a couple weeks ago. Here they are. Hi, little papitos. Hi, guys. <laughs> the, the Honda Acti box truck I gotta do some inspecting on. Golden guy. Snowflake. Sunshine. And unfortunately, we lost uh, Batman yesterday. Real bummer. But anyways, let's get back to this. Okay, so now that we have all the, the wires connected and all that good stuff, um, I'm gonna take the wiring that I ran temporarily for the right speaker, and we're gonna plug that in, since we have to do that manually. Ouch. Since there is no wiring for the right side in the wiring harness, we have to run this one by, plug this one in by hand. Oh, the right one is positive. Let's get the stock harness. Okay, stock harness plugged in. Stuff. 
pushed back out of the way. And we're going to plug it into the radio. Actually, I'm gonna set the face, the plate in there first real quick. Okay, so let's get our radio plugged in now. I'm pretty sure we have all the wiring correctly. And what, what is nice is it has a mic on it as well, so you can still talk and use your phone. Hands free. Okay, let's make sure we get it to turn on first. Well, there we go. So there's your orange, with the black lettering. I did forget to plug in our radio antenna, so let's plug that in. I don't want to forget our radio. We can listen to the garbage on the radio. Okay. Let's say that was a uh, Success. Wires hidden. Let's see if we get any uh, stations. And give me a wedgie just to be funny. Oh, 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 slide it in there and it does give you uh it did give you keys to slide it back out we'll put the trim piece on i think it looks very uh factory ish And speakers sound, I'm happy with those speakers. We'll uh, try some music later when I'm not making the video. Bluetooth works great. Bluetooth works really good. Can't have this in the movie because I get copyrighted and that's not cool. It's some weird song. I had no idea. So we're just gonna listen to me try to sing about a song that shouldn't be copyrighted. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. I'm happy with that that deck. That's super cool, super retro looking. Not retro, looks factory, I should say. Factory looking, USB, Bluetooth, uh, everything. So, yeah, that's how you install your radio. Um, and then I have my video installing the right side speaker on your Acti. Um, again, that deck will be good for any K car you want to keep looking factory. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pumped on that thing. It looks like it belongs in here. And... So far, it sounds good just listening to the radio. But, uh, yeah, cool. Hopefully that was helpful, guys, if you're looking for a factory-ish looking radio. Um, very easy to install in the Acti. And same on the sandbar and whatever else. But, uh, yeah, that's it. Cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, see you on the next one.